Hey everyone, it's me Tim from 40 Times Around. Today we're going to be doing another gear review and this time we're going to be talking about a helmet from Shoei, the Hornet X2. Stick around. So before I jump into the review of the Shoei, which I picked up just about two months ago, I do want to make a note on a helmet that I reviewed recently, which was the Bell MX-9 with MIPS. I am definitely a big fan of this helmet. I love the transition lens. It was a super comfortable helmet. Uh, it wasn't the quietest helmet. For the price point, it was a pretty great helmet. However, I will say that daily use, on and off, every day, um, I would say extreme overuse of that helmet. I only got about five months out of that helmet, which to me, for an almost $300 helmet, uh, to only get that much time out of it. Now I'm using it a lot more than most people typically would use a helmet. Uh, I think for most people you would get a little more time out of it than that. Uh, but for me it just doesn't make sense to be spending that kind of money uh, twice a year. So I decided to spend a little more on this next helmet and that's why I decided to try out the Shoei Hornet. I've done the Arai XD4 and super happy with that helmet. Absolutely love it but I wanted to try something different. And so I picked this up about two months ago and have been using it pretty much daily since then. Uh, I've been in some hot weather and some cold weather, uh, rain, fog, uh, wind, uh, pretty much everything you can imagine, on-road and off-road. Um, pretty extensive use over the last two months, so I have quite a bit to say about this. Now, before we jump into my opinion, I wanna talk real quick about some of the features, stats, and things to note if you're considering buying this helmet. So right out of the gate, the price on this helmet is just about $600. It's not cheap, but you are getting what you pay for with this helmet. One of the downsides with this helmet is its weight, four pounds or 1,874 grams. Definitely not the lightest adventure helmet on the market. Just to put that into perspective, the Arai is coming in at 3.6 pounds. The Climb Cryos is coming in at 3.3 pounds. The Bell MX-9 coming in at 3.38 pounds. So you can kind of see where the Shoei falls in that lineup as far as weight goes. Now for safety rating, this is gonna give you a Snell and DOT approved sticker. The shell is made out of fiberglass, comes in four shell sizes. One of the other real nice features with this helmet is that it does come pen lock ready and comes with the pen lock itself, which is gonna definitely help with fog. I've had a little experience with that cold rain and it's a total game changer for me. Something else I really like about this helmet, it comes with an EQRS or emergency quick release system which allows an emergency EMT or medical professional to easily remove the cheek pads before trying to remove the helmet. Uh, this is a really nice safety feature. Quarter turn screws allow for easy tool free removal of the visor. And there's a large multi position air intake defroster vent up by the mouth two upper vents, four rear exhaust vents, and three neck outlet vents. Also includes a removable breath guard and chin curtain. I ditched the chin curtain, that wasn't really working for me except when it was really cold out, uh, but I do have the breath guard on there and I'm, I definitely like that. And last thing, it does have a five year manufacturer defect warranty. So as far as the review and my opinion of it, I'm gonna give you a six point review and these are gonna cover comfort, aerodynamics, noise, weight, ventilation and overall value. So let's talk about comfort first. Now uh, the padding is really soft and plush uh, so as far as comfort goes it is super super comfortable to wear. It is a little bit heavy but I think the thing that's gonna offset the weight is that it's also super aerodynamic so you're not gonna get a lot of pull on your neck. Uh, so in terms of wearing this helmet all day uh, you will feel the weight slightly but because of that uh, increased aerodynamics. It's not going to cause much strain on your neck. Of course, this is all depending on your motorcycle setup. My windshield kind of pushes the air right up and over, uh, which was, really removes any kind of buffeting on my helmet. Uh, anything that would kind of grab that peak visor uh, and kind of yank it. Uh, so there's no pain on my neck, shoulders. Uh, I don't get any hot spots with this helmet. It is just a really, really comfortable helmet. A lot of times with the Bell, uh, and I'm not just going to keep comparing it to the Bell, but that was the helmet I had just before it, I would find myself always wanting to remove the helmet at a gas station. Uh, with the Shoei, I pretty much just leave it on unless I'm having a snack or something, but if it's just a quick gas stop or maybe just pulling over to take a picture, 
I don't feel the need to like get out of the helmet as soon as possible. So that's that's pretty nice. Uh, definitely, uh, I'm a big fan of the comfort of this helmet. Next up is aerodynamics, and this is super super impressive. I would say probably. Uh, not probably, this is definitely, in my opinion, the most aerodynamic adventure style motorcycle helmet, including the Arai, which I had for a while. Uh, now, I haven't tested out every single helmet, but of the ones I've tried, this is by far the most aerodynamic. I don't get any pull, no matter what direction the wind is hitting from. Uh, even doing a shoulder check, uh, I don't get any kind of pull on that visor. It's just perfectly aerodynamic from the sides, the front, there's no buffeting, no major wind noise. The speed that you are going with this helmet is completely irrelevant. So that brings me to the next point of the review, which is noise. Uh, this is a super quiet helmet. With the face shield down, it eliminates almost all wind and road noise. Um, of course, you can still hear what's going on around you, but it just eliminates that uh, really heavy, harsh noise. That really thick, uh, well-built, foam uh, padding it just really blocks out all of that noise next up would be weight of course this is going to be the weak point of this helmet it is not a light helmet but like i said you're not really feeling it the same way you would feel the the strain on your neck from wearing something like a bell or maybe one of the even lesser uh, expensive helmets you sometimes get a lot of pull and you'll feel that on the front of your neck or even the back of your neck um, just from fighting that wind all day, I'd say that that is way worse than anything you feel from the weight of the showy. Uh, it's it's a heavy helmet, but I don't really think it's super obvious, even on a 14, 15 hour day sitting in the saddle. Next up would be ventilation. So, uh, this helmet is pretty well ventilated. It's got some pretty good intake and ex export uh, vents in this helmet. Definitely keeps the airflow moving on those really hot days. Uh, even off-road and at slow speeds, I tend to ride with the visor up, which of course that helps quite a bit. Uh, I've never really felt stuffy or or like, you know, just like super hot inside this helmet. Uh, so that's a nice feature. I don't know that this is the most well-ventilated helmet, uh, but it is certainly sufficient enough for me. And that brings us to the sixth and final point on this review, which is overall value. Of course, I'm going to say this is an expensive helmet. This is a big investment. Now, in terms of safety, there's not much better you could get than this. Uh, you know, something like the Shoei or the Arai or you know, anything with that Snell approval. Uh, you're not getting much better than that. So as far as the safety you're getting for that price, I mean, if you're going to put a price on any part of your body, this, you know, your head is pretty important. So $600 in terms of that, eh, it's not that bad if you look at it that way. In terms of the comfort you get, uh, the aerodynamics, and and some of the uh, more premier features, I think it's totally worth it if you can afford it. Uh, I think, you know, get the best helmet you can afford. I know that this isn't going to be in everybody's uh, budget, and that's why I keep saying, you know, the Bell is an excellent, excellent option uh, at about half the price of this showy. So... You know, you got to factor in what is your budget and what are your priorities, uh, what level of use are you going to be using. Um, for someone like me, where I'm usually in this helmet daily, anywhere from 4 to 15 hours a day. Uh, so for me, it's definitely clearly worth the money, uh, and, and it will last a lot longer than my Bell lasted. So if you think, I would have bought two of the Bell for one of the Showy, and the Showy still probably will outlast that. And I'm basing that on how long I had my Arai XD4. Uh, that helmet I had for about three and a half years. And even when I got rid of it, it was still in pretty good condition. Uh, the padding was still intact. It was still fitting well. Uh, it just, it was just time for an update on that helmet. But three and a half years out of a helmet, you know, that kind of justifies spending upwards of five, six hundred dollars on it. So yeah, I think the Shoei is definitely worth the money if you can afford it. So that's kind of it. That's my opinion. I'm super happy with this helmet. I absolutely love it. I will leave a link in the description box down below in case you guys want to check it out. Uh, that's kind of it for me today. Uh, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. That way you don't miss anything whenever I post something new about motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so one more thing before I forget, and that is a huge bonus to the comfort of the Shoei helmet, and that is 
it has a sunglass channel. Uh, so whether you wear reading glasses, seeing glasses, sunglasses, uh, there's a nice little sleeve so you won't get any kind of pressure behind your ears when you're wearing sunglasses with this helmet. Uh, I'm pretty much a daily sunglass guy and so this is, uh, this is a key feature for me. So, so one more thing to consider if you happen to wear glasses while you're riding.